Hi, welcome back. In this session, let's see how to validate the pattern in RAML API specification. And this pattern validation is applicable only for parameters of type string. If you have uh, parameters of type number or integer, you cannot use this pattern validation. And for pattern validation, we will use an attribute called pattern. And it's a regular expression that a parameter of type string must match. If uh, the value is not matching the pattern, then we will get an error. So let's take few example to understand this. In the first example, we are defining a pattern for a phone number. And this, this has a country code uh, followed by space and 10 digit mobile number. We have plus and then two digit uh, numbers it can be one digit or two then space followed by 10 digit mobile number so this is the pattern uh, validation that we are doing for phone and also example we have is matching the pattern and in the second example we can see that uh, the user should use uh, letters from capital a to z followed by two digit integer and example is matching the pattern to understand how to use this pattern attribute, let's take an example of employees API. It's a get employee API, which will return list of employee information. We have department name and phone number as a query parameters and both of them are of type string. So department name is a type string and uh, the example we have is in capital letter. So since it's of type string, you can give special characters, space, number or uh, something like that. So if we are expecting this field to just have the capital letters or the numbers, we can use a pattern attribute and define what exactly is expected for this parameter. So if we check the option, we can see that we have a pattern attribute for string parameter. If, if the parameter uh, is of type uh, number, then we cannot see that option. We don't see the pattern attribute as an option. So this pattern validation is applicable only for parameters of type string. So let's change the parameter type back to string and uh, we'll select a pattern attribute. Let's say if we are expecting the department name in capital letters, then we can add the regular expression for that. Let's say if, if this field is expecting just the capital letter from A to Z, we can add a pattern, regular expression for it. Let's say if you want to allow the small letters as well, then you can add it along with capital letters. You can expect the, the small letters as well. And if you want to add some numbers in the department name, you can add the validation for that as well. You can define that in the pattern. Let's say if you're expecting the number from three to six, you can use them as a value and if you use some other value more than a six or less than three you will get an error so let's assume we just want the capital letter from a to z if you remove the star then uh, the example is not matching the pattern because it is just expecting a letter from a to z not more than one letter it just accepting one letter if you give a letter more than one it gives you an error so let's use star so that you can use as many uh, number of letters you want but it should be in capital letter as per the pattern that we have defined and also let's assume if you want to add some two digit integer then you can uh, define that in the pattern yes this way the example the value should be in capital letter followed by two digit integer. If you want to add the space, uh, you can use the expression to add the space in between the numbers and uh, 
the capital letters based on your requirement you can uh, add the regular expression and also the value must match the pattern yeah we have uh, we did pattern validation for department name we yeah we are expecting uh, the capital letters space and two digits number let's add a pattern validation for phone number as well let's try to add the pattern that uh, that is matching the example that we already have it should have plus with country code details let's say uh, country code can be a two digit number then space and 10 digit mobile number so now now we have added the pattern that is matching the example we have plus and two digit number if you add uh, three digits or more you will get an error so it should be two digit number then space if you remove the space we will get an error so the pattern validation that we are doing for phone number is matching the example currently we are allowing two digit number uh, for country code it can be any number but you if you are expecting just plus nine one you can do that you can specify what exactly you are expecting currently we are expecting plus nine one and if you want to give an option to add for a user uh, to select plus nine one or it can be plus one if you want to give or option for country code you can do that by using a symbol in the regular expression there is something wrong i think we have an additional parenthesis yeah this way we can we can add a pattern validation where a user must give a country code that is matching plus nine one or it can be plus one if you give something else it fails we have or condition it so based on that it should be a plus nine one or plus one if you give plus nine one one it fails we can change the pattern to match the example Yeah. if you want to remove the space you can remove it and based on your requirement you can uh, add the pattern validation you can go through the regular expression details and uh, uh, understand that and use based on the requirement and now we have a country code space and then 10 digit number so let's uh, remove uh, and make it plus nine one because that is a country code for india and plus one is for us so the phone number should be in that format so let's try to hit the api from the documentation from the console so now we are getting an error because it's not uh, phone number is not proper it's not matching the pattern we should give a plus nine one yeah now the example that we are giving for phone number is matching the pattern uh, validation so we are getting the success response if you try to give a phone number more than 10 digits then it fails it gives you an error so there is a validation based on the pattern uh, validation that we are doing for the phone number parameter and also for department name it should be a capital letter if you if you add some small letters or numbers it fails it should be capital letters space and then two digit number so nine eight if you give one digit or three digit then we will get an error because it's not matching the pattern yeah this way we can use a pattern attribute for string parameters and do the validation pattern validation so that the api consumer will also understand what exactly should be given for the phone number and how exactly the phone number should look like it should have a country code space and then the phone number so let's recall what we have learned 
the pattern validation is applicable only for parameters of type string and the pattern attribute will ex uh, expect uh, the regular expression that should match the input or the example that we gave we have seen the phone number and also the department name which accepts capital letters and also the numbers so that's it for today thank you see you in next session